Okay, well, number 13, again, for a lot of students reading this, especially if you're not familiar with the techniques, um, you're gonna say it's impossible, all right? But anyway, let's take a look. They wanna get um, two sets of factors for this fourth degree polynomial. And they're gonna be quadratic in form, by the way. This has something to do with completing the square. So let's, let's write this down. And again, I can't remember the question. I gotta look at my piece of paper over here. So it's nine m to the four. Uh, minus 11m squared plus 1. So this is 9m to the fourth power. And then I'm going to put the minus 11m squared in the end. And if someone says, why are you doing that? I'm looking, if this is factor, I'm looking for a difference of perfect squares at this point. But I'll put the 1 over here. Now, the problem with this over here is that I'm looking at this, and I'm looking at this now. And I, I know they're equal, by the way, because 9m4 plus one minus 11 m squared is the same thing as I got in the left hand side, which is nine m four minus 11 m squared plus one. But I'm looking at this uh, nine m squared plus four and saying, how could I make that a perfect square? And I, you know, so I always say that, that that might be a little difficult to do, but it's not that bad. I'm gonna write this over here, three m squared minus one squared. And I'll put minus 11 m squared. But this is not equal by the way, and why is that? If you multiply that, you would get 9m4 and you would get plus 1, but you get a middle term, which would be minus 6m squared. So I'd have to add this on, by the way, 6m squared, all right? Now, is that equal to what's above it? And you should be able to verify that. That's 9m4. You would get minus 6m squared plus 6m squared. That disappears, and you do get plus 1. So I think I've got this over here, which is going to be my difference of perfect squares now. And I'll be careful to write that down which is minus 5m squared. Let me write this over here as difference of perfect squares, and then we'll factor it. And they said there's two separate ones, though. Let's write this one down first, which difference of perfect squares, by the way. So 3m squared minus 1 minus root 5m, and 3m squared minus 1 plus root five times m. I don't like the way that's written because I want to put it in order. So three m squared minus root five m uh, minus one and three m squared plus root five m, uh, let's see, minus one, all right? That's one set of factors, by the way. And they don't involve complex numbers, by the way, all right? So I'm okay with that. I don't want to get another one. And so how would you do that well, you know what? I'm going to try another one, and let's take a look. So I'm, I'm really on the same thing again. So 9m4 minus 11m squared plus 1 is equal to 9m4 plus 1 minus 11m squared. Well, you know, I tried the 3m squared minus 1. Let's try the 3m squared plus 1 squared. Now, of course, this is not equal to what's above it, so I have to figure this out, by the way. And what would you get? You'd get plus 6m squared. So then I have to subtract away. So minus 6m squared. And again, if you want, you can verify that too, by the way. All right? So let's take a look, see what we come up with. We're going to get over here 3m squared plus 1 squared minus 17m squared. And again, this is a difference of perfect squares again. Let's write it down. It's going to be 3m squared plus 1 squared minus the root of 17m quantity squared. And let's write a difference of perfect squares down now. 3m squared plus 1 minus root 17m and 3m squared plus 1 plus root 17m. I'm going to write a little uh, different form. I'm going to write in order. 3m squared minus root 17m plus 1, and 3m squared plus root 17m plus 1. All right? And we got our two factors, by the way. And we did it two different ways, all right? Basically, completing the square... Uh, for each one, by the way. We want to make a difference in perfect squares, by the way. Thank you.